the one still moment in the show, and I like belly flapped onto the stage. This is the show where we answer your questions, but if it gets too deep, we say don't go there. Hello, and welcome to another Don't Go There. I'm here with Stephanie Swift. Hello. Yeah, she's a theme park performer. Yeah. Um, yeah, so yeah. fun. So when was the first time that you wanted to be a performer? Want to be a performer? Yeah. Uh, I don't remember a time where I didn't want to be a ballerina. That was like my life goal. I was going to be a ballerina. I went to see the Nutcracker every year, like every small child does. And I was going to be that. And then I started growing up and I like don't have the build for a classic ballerina right. and like life happens. And then I saw cats. Don't judge me. <laughs> I saw cats in fifth grade and like like worlds shattered because I was terrified of singing back then and like all I wanted to do was be a performer on Broadway but I didn't want to sing and I saw cats and I was like they're dancers yeah. not singers and I was like I could do this and then that sent me down this whole crazy train yeah. like, now I'm a performer yeah. so that cats yes. I guess was wow. like the moment that it was gonna happen for me so, so. Uh, we normally talk about college at this moment, but um, you went to an all-girls boarding school. I sure did. <laughs> I did indeed for high school. Uh, yes. All-girls boarding school for high school. I did not board, um, but yes, I did. Uh -oh. It uh -oh. was like, what, I think they say 51% boarding students, 49% day students. I was a day student, but I pretty much lived there and at the ballet studio and went home to sleep. Oh so. my gosh. Like, Hilarious. Yeah, it was cool. That's crazy. Yeah, I didn't go there because I was being punished. I didn't go there because like I, my parents didn't love me or whatever. Yeah. That's like the assumption that people have. No, I chose to go there and you I loved it. Chose to go so there. It was great. That's, yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. Wait. Okay. So you went there just to study dance no, 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 or no, no, because? No. Actually, they had. I love them to death. Madeira School. They're the great. Go snails. That was our mascot. We were the snails. <laughs> oh, the snails. Yes, we were the snails. Um. <laughs> But that. their arts program was very small, very, very small, especially their dance department. So I spent a lot of time doing theater there, but um, I also like didn't want to give up my dance education. Right. So my dad, love him to death, is like in my wheelhouse all the time and he went to like the administration and he was like, this girl dances in ways you can't even imagine, you can't support her at the level she needs to be supported, so you need to let her not take PE and use her dance classes as PE credits. Oh and gosh. that's what I did. So wow. I did not have to take PE in high school, because that's how much I was doing. That's dancing. awesome. Yeah. That's how I got through PE through uh, homeschooling, is through my dance stuff. Yes, yeah. exactly. So, yeah, exactly. it's amazing. It it so did you go to college? Mm -hmm. I did. I went to the Christopher Newport University okay. in Newport News, Virginia. It's very, it's not small. It's like actually expanding a lot, but it was pretty small at the time. They yeah. were like at the beginning of their growth spurt. So yes, I did that. I got a degree, a BA in theater, okay. a concentration in musical theater, and a minor in dance. And I was in the honors program, and I was really busy oh. all the time. Yeah, it sounds <laughs> like it. So I am the That's way crazy. I am now. Yeah. Very, you're very focused all the uh, time. It's so great. No, it's great. Okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, do you have any embarrassing moments from college? Uh, <laughs> all of college is an embarrassing moment. <laughs> like, I, you know how Facebook does that awesome thing where it shows you like your memories now? Yes. Like, oh my gosh. Uh, it shows me my college memories and I'm like, why did I have friends? Like, <laughs> everything I posted on there was terrible. I thought I was so cool, but I wasn't. <laughs> yelled at a professor right before I went to graduate um. <laughs> in front of like the whole like dance department. We had a lot of like power shifts my senior year of college and like my program's motto was practice professionalism and they were supposed to be preparing us for like what it would be like to work in the professional world and they struggled with that in some aspects and so one of the things they did my senior year was they had their first ever like dance showcase like the dance okay. program had always yeah. been like second to the theater program so the dance department had never really had its own show of any sort so we had our first dance showcase and I was in 13 of the 14 pieces because that's the type of person I am oh my god so I was in like everything and so the head of the department was the head of the tech department it was her first year being head of the whole theater department and I'm sure she was great 
for some things, but she just didn't get the performer world or like what we needed to go forth into the performer world. And so one of the things that was really great about this showcase is I was like, I can build a reel. Like this is gonna be yeah. awesome. I'm tapping, I'm doing musical theater, I'm doing contemporary, like I can film all of these pieces and have like a really good start on my reel. And right. some other girls obviously are thinking that too. So we had it all set up, we had like, we were bribing friends with pizza, they were coming in to film the dress rehearsal for us, it was gonna be great. And then out of the blue, this department head was like, no filming allowed, nothing. You can't have any photos, any documentation of this performance. We're not filming it. Oh my gosh. I know, and we were like, what the heck? And That's she was like, we've never done anything like this before. We don't know how it's gonna go. Like, we don't want any video of it in case like it doesn't go as planned, I guess. Right. I don't know. And we were like, that's a little unacceptable. And she like put her foot down. So, the night of the dress rehearsal, she was like sitting out in the house doing lighting or whatever. And I walk in and I'm like, can we talk about this? And she very rudely pretty much shut me down and was like, no, no filming, end of discussion. And I went to another world. Like, I don't, <laughs> I couldn't even tell you what I said because I just blew up at her and like, screamed about how hard we'd been working and how we needed this for our reel and how we're supposed to practice professionalism and this is a very big roadblock in like us preparing for the professional world and uh, I was like, hey, I played the card, I was like, I'm 13 of the 14 pieces and I will walk out right now and not be in this show and she just kind of sat there and stared at me and I like, like, I'm always a loudspeaker but I like screamed and <laughs> I left and my very kind dance teacher was like, I heard everything. If you really feel like you need to walk out on this performance, like that's what you need to do, we'll support you on it. And I didn't because I didn't want like I was in so many pieces, I didn't wanna ruin it for everybody else, you know. I would have really ruined the showcase. So I didn't walk out, but Everybody heard me scream at the head of our department. Oh my gosh. That was a really long story. I'm so sorry. <laughs> no, that's okay. But that's my most embarrassing moment, moment is screaming at my professor right before I graduated <laughs> and like the whole department hearing me. Oh my gosh. And they still talk about it. They, they still were, talk about it? Yeah. Oh, and side note, haha, we got our videos because we sure did have people like army crawling through the aisles with their video cameras. So like the videos aren't as good as they could have been. Oh my god. But like my sweet, sweet friends were like, we're getting you your videos. And they are all in my reel now, <laughs> Professor T. They are all in my reel except some of them have got to go because they're kind of old now. Oh, yeah. But they were in my reel, so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Did you have any guest service jobs before performing? <laughs> I worked in a Ben and Jerry's for like a summer. Oh my gosh. I was a scooper. Hilarious. It was great. I love ice cream, but it was a mess. And then I worked at the Disney store all through college. Oh, yeah. Yes. It was great. Dads don't know the princesses, so they'd come in and they'd be like, the pink one! I need the pink one! And I'd be like, it's okay. Her name's Aurora. Come with me. We'll get you the pink one. It's great. Oh, that's yeah. funny. Oh my gosh, that's hilarious. Speaking of pink, is that your favorite color? Yes. Because <laughs> your car is pink. <laughs> it is not pink and I love it. <laughs> so funny. I yes. love it. I love yes, it. Yes, it is. I love it. So how long have you been in Florida? I moved here January of 2011. So a little over six years now. Oh, wow. Yeah. Right, I graduated from college. I worked because I was in the Williamsburg area. So I worked at the Bush Gardens up there for a contract. And I finished my contract and my dance partner there um, was like, hey, you want to move to Orlando? And I was like, yes, and we did. Oh, wow. Yeah, awesome. I loved it. I mean, but I love it here more, so, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What was your audition experience like for the parks? Oh, uh, they were all very different. Um, I was really lucky. I walked into basically jobs at the Nick Hotel and as a character performer at SeaWorld because I'd done similar stuff up in Virginia, so like, okay. my resume reflected that. Yeah. Um, and then I auditioned for Universal three times and turned them down the first two times. Oh my gosh. Because oh. they just like, first it was that like crazy little hop like thing they did when the hop movie came out and I got SeaWorld at the same time and that was a longer run so I had to go with that. Yeah. And then I got Macy's 
um, as a ballerina and I would have loved it, <laughs> but I had to turn that down because I had just accepted a ship contract with Nickelodeon back when they did oh. a cruise line on Norwegian. Yeah. So I had to turn that down. Thank goodness they still hired me the third time yeah. when I auditioned for Parade or <laughs> I probably wouldn't be here right now. Yeah. <laughs> are there any shows in the parks that you have done that are closed? That are closed? Um, well, I worked in the hotel. That's gone. Yeah, that's gone. Uh, bye. Um, <laughs> I, mean, I don't know. I guess not. Wow. It's weird. It's job security it's right there. It's job security. That's so weird. That's so awesome. Interesting. Um, have you done any shows outside of, of the theme parks? Well, I work at the Capone's Dinner Theater. Oh, yes. So yeah. I work there. That's technically outside the theme parks. I, uh, dance on the Solar Bears dance team. That's uh -huh. not really a show, but that's outside the park. Yeah. Um, I did a show at the Rep, the Orlando Rep, the you very did? first year I moved here. I did Lyle the Crocodile. Oh my god! And I loved it so much. <laughs> I would go back there in a heartbeat. They're oh my great. gosh, that's yeah. so awesome. Yeah. Do you have any on-stage performance fails? Yeah. <laughs> I fall down a lot. Yeah. I fall down a lot. So if I'm in a show, I've fallen at some point. Oh my gosh. This could be like the rest of your interviews. The rest <laughs> of it's just me talking about all the stuff I've done wrong. I guess the most vivid one that comes to mind right now was Grinchmas. Oh we my were gosh. doing Grinchmas. Uh -huh. And like, you know that show. It's like chaos and noise. Like 90%. So like you can kind of get away with like doing whatever you want in the <laughs> yeah. background sometimes people don't really notice but the right. one like really sweet sincere moment is when all the who's gather around the tree on Christmas morning and sing Bahu Forays and tells you the meaning of Christmas and I'm getting goosebumps just talking about it because I'm such a dork um, <laughs> but that. anyways I was hanging with the who's and we came out on Christmas morning and we do our like Oh, you know, Christmas is gone, but it's okay, we have each other. So this one guy, I won't name any names, reaches his hand out to me like, come, let's go sing around the tree. And I was like, great. And I reach out to take his hand, and I'm standing up on like the stairs of the stoop of a doorway. And he, I go to take his hand, and then I guess the girl on the other side of him pulled him away. So right as the narrator says, it didn't sound sad, it sounded merry, very, or whatever the line is there, <laughs> and silence. And then you just hear me go boom, 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 <laughs> down the stairs. And I am flat on my stomach, <laughs> laying on the ground. All the rest of the Who's are around the tree. Oh my gosh. And like the one still moment in the show, <laughs> and I like belly flapped onto the stage because he so pulled weird. his hand away and I just went down. <laughs> And like, oh, it was so amazing. Oh my gosh, that's so yeah. funny. So that's the one I'm going with. For oh. now. <laughs> uh, do you have a favorite musical? Oh my god. I mean, Cats holds a special place in my heart, obviously. Yeah. You know, like if there were one show I could be in though, and this is really random, I would want to be in Moving Out. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Like, I would want to be in Moving Out. Huge dance show. Huge dance show. Like, I remember it came on tour while I was in college, and I was like, that is everything I oh want to be in like a performer. So we've completely graduated to the Twitter questions. These are dire to your career. Dire to my career? <laughs> yes. Okay, so yes. better go to back to grad school. Like, okay, yeah. Under tire. All right. Okay, cake for breakfast? This is one of them. Absolutely. <laughs> yes. A thousand percent. First of all, I hate breakfast. I don't like to eat it, but I yeah. know that I will pass out at work if I don't. So pretty much anything of substance counts as breakfast. So yes. cake is so definitely cake on that list. Yes. A thousand percent. Uh, can you move your ears? No, but my sister can. Oh, really? No, I didn't get any. My brother can touch his tongue to his nose. My sister can wiggle her ears. I'm left-handed and I had a lazy eye growing up. Oh. <laughs> I got like the I short end of the biological stick, so. Yeah. Do you have a hidden talent? I mean, I'm left-handed. A lot of people don't guess that. Um, no. No. I'm, pre I'm a pretty open book. Like, if I can do something, it's on my resume and I'm telling you about it. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> do you have a favorite Sesame Street character? Oh, yes. So, well, because I worked for Sesame Street for two years. Oh my gosh. As friends hilarious. with their characters. So Zoe, the ballerina, is my favorite. And yeah. She was like my first best friend. What are your favorite socks? Socks? Um, I like to wear flip-flops and no-sock shoes a lot. 
Um, but I really, really love fuzzy socks that fuzzy you wear with like pajamas. Oh I have gosh. probably more of those than I do like normal human socks. I have socks. two Christmas ones that have like little reindeer and on them. I have like <laughs> six pairs of Christmas fuzzy socks and I wear them in July and it's fine. It is great. So, yeah. <laughs> Favorite band? <laughs> Dear Evan Hansen, is that a band? Oh my god. That's what I'm listening to. Do you right cry now. every morning? I don't cry. <laughs> yeah, that's my like end of the day listening to, yeah. yeah. But uh, what animal would you would be the cutest if scaled down to a cat? What animal would be the cutest? Oh my gosh, Twitter! <laughs> what kind of question is that? Uh I really like frogs and lizards and stuff, so I guess like a big lizard oh scaled gosh. down. A dinosaur scaled down. <gasps> oh, I don't know. Like, a dinosaur. I'm a That'd crazy cool. person. I think like salamanders and stuff are cute. Oh my stuff. gosh. We have so, them all over yeah, the place here. Florida. <laughs> I, know, I love it. I know some people don't like it. I think yeah. they're cool. So. They're everywhere. Yeah. They like to try and come into our house though. That's yeah. Great. If you could be any theme park attraction, Disney or Universal, which attraction would you be and why? Be a theme park attraction. Yeah. Oh, okay, pause the camera because it's gonna take a minute. Um, I'm torn between two. I'm torn between Peter Pan's flight because it's oh. just, I love the Peter Pan story oh and like my senior year musical because I'm a super sentimental person and I still think about that stuff. On the flip side, I really like the carousel over in Seuss Landing. Hilarious. Because it's cute and kid friendly and goofy like me and like those are the books that I grew up with my dad reading to me, so it means a lot to him yeah. and my family. So that's probably the one I would go with if I had Sentimental. To I'm a sentimental person. <laughs> yeah, you're I lucky am. that it didn't get too deep, because this would have hit you. Oh, God. <laughs> so, that's it uh, for this interview. Yay, I did it! <laughs> Um, check out the challenge video. It'll be in the annotations or something. Public social media. Do you have any? I, I have an Instagram. I don't know if it's public. It's sswift06. Find it and yeah. if it's public, you'll be able to click on it. I'll um, put it in the link maybe I'll make description below. Yeah. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, yeah, and you know where to find me Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, Musically, Facebook, all the things at, at Ensley Ellis. And go hit the like button if you liked it, like it if you didn't, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and comment what you would like to see next time. <laughs> so much. It's so choreographed. I love it. Yeah, I love so it. Perfect. All right. See ya. Bye. <laughs>